So just before the audition starts, the actor says, I'm Australian. Do you want to hear an American accent or my Australian way of speaking for this monologue? Well, I said, what is most comfortable for you? To which they said, I think the American accent. Now, as the audition is going on, I realize the actor really doesn't have a great American accent. What would you do if this was you? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about acting with an accent on this episode of Casting Actors Cast. This is Casting Actors Cast. Jeffrey Dreisbach brings you insights and inspiration. Make a difference in your acting and your acting career. Here's Jeffrey Dreisbach. <laughs> We're going to jump in right after this. Well, hello and welcome to today's episode of Casting Actors Cast. I'm a casting partner with Pat McCorkle at McCorkle Casting in New York. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a really good day and I'm looking forward to sharing this subject. You know, I don't believe out of over 315 episodes that I've ever, you know, gotten into this subject. So I'm kind of happy and excited that this is something new and you might have had an interest in knowing a little bit more about this as far as, you know, the casting side of things, but what you can do to feel much better about your preparation, whether you need to do an accent or not, whether you have an accent and you've been trying to get rid of it, maybe you can find some more information as a result of today's podcast. But first, this is that moment of the podcast where I get to say, gosh, thank you so much for tuning in. It means so much to me that you're there. I've gotten all kinds of wonderful responses and questions from folks, and you can can do the same by simply going to the website casting actress cast all one word dot com and filling out the form that says dive into the talent pool get it when you do that that's going to open up some freebies for you one is a book that i wrote on doing voiceover work it's absolutely free it's a hundred page pdf you can download it you can print it it's yours and it is totally free there's no gimmick here also there's a free video to check out called casting secrets what they don't tell you but I'm going to tell you uh, in this free 20-minute video just by filling out the form that gives me your name and your email address. So something for you to consider. Additionally, there's all kinds of other information on there. There's the blog post. There's, um, gosh, there's just all kinds of information about the podcast. We've been doing this for quite a while now, and I'm really proud of the way it's grown. Uh, speaking of that, the Broadway Podcast Network has invited me to be part of their network. And so, so you're hearing me through the Broadway Podcast Network, something for you to check out. Lots of really cool podcasts out there. But um, frankly, this is the only one of this kinds of subject where I'm giving you very specific um, insight from a casting director. So the Broadway Podcast Network has been a really cool uh, situation for me. I'm really excited. And that doesn't change anything for you. If you simply click on Spotify or iTunes or wherever you get your podcast, it's just going to redirect to the Broadway Podcast Network and my site on there. So that's kind of cool, I think. Also, Creative Coaching Partners is on my website, and they've got a course offering called The Art of the Audition by yours truly. Uh, I spent some time putting together this wonderful course. By the way, it's a course that you pay for. Um, and so, but it's very, very reasonable, I have to tell you. Um, and there's just a lot of information. I think it's, you know, like taking a three or four week class, uh, but it's all available for you. You can watch it at your leisure. Um, there's also other uh, offerings on the Creative Coaching Partners Network. So I invite you to check them out as well. Um, and there's a link there, or you can just kind of Google Creative Coaching Partners, if you will. And then finally, my shout out to my good friend at ActorsConnection.com. Colleen, you're just the best. You're an awesome human being, and I love working with you. And Tony, you as well. You've been so helpful and useful and interesting and fun to work with all these years. And so I'm proud and happy to give a shout out to ActorsConnection.com slash New York. Woo! Okay. 
Wow, that's a lot, right? Yeah, that's a lot to get into. And I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time by sharing this information with you. But it's part of the success of the podcast, I think, is that we have advertising now. We have other stuff happening there. But I hope it doesn't dissuade you from jumping in with me on the subjects that we are talking about. So let's face it, you've had a lot of training. You've spent a lot of time on a British accent in school, right? <laughs> Right. You have a good ear for accents, or at least you think you do. Now, when an opportunity presents itself, this weird dilemma uh, that the actor is confronted with happens. The dilemma becomes an inner monologue. Do I trust that I can do this accent, or should I just kind of fake it? That happens a lot, especially if you're just newly out of school. Or maybe you did a British accent and now maybe a few years have gone by and you're not quite feeling like you're brushed up on the British accent. I'm using British there because that seems to be very, very common, right? A lot of folks like to do British accents with their Shakespeare, for example. That may or may not be useful, but if it's asked for and you can do it, that might be helpful. But there are some things to consider before you take on an accent, whether it's a, a foreign sounding accent or a regionalism, a regional accent or a dialect. The first question to ask yourself is number one, can you actually sound authentic? In other words, are the technical components of being authentic performing this regionalism, this accent, this dialect, does it work? Do I sound like I am supposed to considering the region that the character is coming from? It's a simple question, but you really need to be able to answer that question. Number two, the next question, of course, is it necessary for the role? Now, I know that that sounds ob obvious, but I think, honestly, there are some times when the writer might be British, for example, and there's no sort of demarcation as to whether this should have a regional accent or not. And so is that necessary for the role? You need to find that out. You need to really decide if that accent is a good thing. Now, I get this question all the time, like the example that we used in the opening is a person who is from another country saying, I like to do, do it in an American accent. Now, I know um, pretty much that the American accent is not as easy to do as other accents. The musicality of the voice, the harshness, also the regionalism. A person from the South sounds slightly different than a person from uh, Pittsburgh <laughs> or New York, or you understand. So that's a question that needs to be asked. Is it necessary for the role? And if that is the case, then we can move on to other questions. But question number three would you be able to sort of ad lib? In other words, can you produce the regionalism without working on it? Does it come natural to you? Can you see a piece of writing and make it sound like it came from another part of the country, of the world, of the area, of the, you know, you name it. See, faking does not work. And it can affect your credibility as an actor. If you say you can do an accent and it's not that good, then there are those kind of credibility issues that you may not want to deal with. Knowing that you have a good ear for accents and being able to replicate that skill might mean different things to different people. Because we tell ourselves we are really good at accents doesn't mean we are necessarily great at accents. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's think about that. We think that we sound really authentic, but then have there been times when you've heard somebody from that area and you're saying, you know what, my authenticity is not quite the same as the real person from the real place. <laughs> so listen, if you feel really strongly about the skill to do that, then just simply make it sure that it is something that you continue to practice on a regular basis, because it can be very helpful, very important for you and your career. But it's not something like you can just pick up 
uh, easily. It's not something like riding a bike where you know how to ride a bike instinctually. This is something that really requires you to be actively involved in continuing your training. Whether it is through classes or whether it is through listening to other people from that area, you can YouTube people from that particular area and study the way that they say things. But here's my point. Being upfront about where you are on the how's your dialect question is best when answering, if you were to say, like, It's something I'm comfortable with if I have a little time to retune my ear. You know, when I hear that from an actor, I I can do a really good accent. I'm just, I'll need a little time to sort of get myself retuned. See, to me, that is showing a willingness to learn or relearn, as the case may be. We'll be back right after this. We're back. You should be phenomenal with multiple regionalisms, accents, or dialects. If you are phenomenal with those, then you must make sure it is highlighted or emphasized on your resume, your website, actors' access, acting network accounts. See, the issues with accents, honestly, is not really black and white. There are varying degrees of competency when it comes to actors being able to perform an accent, like singing. Think about a singer. It's one thing to carry a tune. It's another thing to have an operatic voice. Like singing, it can be exceptional or it can be just passable. Your skill level and the way that you implement that skill is really most important. Now, if you think this is something that might be useful to your brand, then like I said, it's important to structure a way to grow the skill, not just stay current with it. There are audio recordings, like I said, there are classes, and there are also the subject of if you are from another country, or if you are from a part of the United States that has a thick regionalism that you want to correct, that is something that I would recommend really highly. Now, I know that we are living in a very sensitive time, and people that come to the United States from another country, they've worked very, very hard in removing that regionalism or that accent from another country. And I think I think that that's really commendable. I find that really awesome. But know that if it is something that is still prevalent, ooh, good word, if it is something that you haven't completely fixed for yourself, then just know that that is part of the consideration that you have to deal with when you audition, when you are being cast. Again, nothing disparaging about that, but we all want to mitigate our limitations and we want to make sure that we heighten those skills that we have available to us, especially when it comes to casting yourself really, really well. So accent reduction or any kind of accent training can really prove to be a valuable asset in your career. That becomes yet another box to check as you grow and move forward with your talent. Just like anything, uh, working on an accent, having a good ear for it can be most helpful, especially if you have that good ear and it's easy for you to do it and it comes easily to you, then by all means, make sure you promote it. On the other hand, Find out if the accent you are sharing is really legitimate. Does it sound really good? Um, If it does, then you're in a good place. If not, don't beat yourself up. Think about ways in which you can improve that skill set as you move forward with your talent and your career. I hope that this has been helpful to you. It's been a lot of fun bringing it to you. By the way, please leave me a like, a share, a thumbs up. Whatever you could do would be really helpful and greatly appreciated. Ooh, all right. I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach. You've been watching and listening Casting Actors Cast. Please don't forget to review, like, and share Casting Actors Cast. I'm Megan Grace Martinez.